Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Siantan. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will launch the ambitious Pratan Mantri Atmanirpa Swast Parat Yojana, PMA SPY, nationwide at a function organized in Varanasi today. The 64,180 crore rupee centrally sponsored scheme, PMA SPY, aims to fill the gaps in health infrastructure, civilians and health research in urban and rural areas in the country till 2025-26. In view of the global pandemic of COVID-19, the main purpose of the scheme is to make communities self-reliant in managing pandemics and health crises. Nagaland Board of School Education, NBSC, has notified heads of institutions that students must fill up application forms online for the ensuing high school living certificate and higher secondary school living certificate. The board has informed that all students should fill up application forms online through NBSC portal at nbscnl.edu.in while repeaters have been informed to contact their institutions or centres by 30th of October to fill up application forms and payment of examination fees according to their category. NBSC has informed that details for fill up of the application forms will be available at nbscnl.edu.in under the heading Instructions for Filling Up of Forms for HSLC and HSSLC Examination 2022. Centre will review the action taken on the stock limit order of edible oils prices with all states and union territories today. The Department of Food and Public Distribution will hold a meeting with all states and union territories through video conferencing. In a letter written to all the states by the Secretary of the Department, Sudanshu Bande, the Department has outlined initiatives taken by the Centre to ease prices of edible oils for relief of consumer and keeping the festive season in mind. Consumer Affairs Ministry said the department is monitoring the prices of edible oils and their availability to consumers. It said this is especially important in view of the upcoming festival season in which demand of edible oils will increase. The stakeholder have been advised not to hold their stocks in excess two months of their storage capacity. Prime Minister Narendra Modi reminded people to be vocal for local in the festive season. He said if people buy local, then artisans and weavers' households will also be lit up in the festive season. The birth anniversary of Pagwan Birsam Munda is on the 15th of November. Prime Minister Modi said Pagwan Birsam Munda is also known as Tarti Apa, which means father of the earth. He said Pagwan Birsa Munda taught people to take pride in their culture and roots. Modi said a foreign rule subjected him to countless threats, but he did not relinquish tribal culture. Prime Minister stated that Pagwan Birsa Munda is an inspiration when it comes to love, Mother Earth and nature. Several union ministers have expressed support and solidarity for scheduled caste classification in the reservations. Union Minister for Culture G. Kishan Reddy, Minister of State for Social Justice and Empowerment A. Narayana Swami, and Union Minister of State for Information and Broadcasting Dr. L. Murugan have assured that the BJP is for classification of SC reservations in equal opportunities to all. Addressing a public meeting, Reddy said efforts are underway to introduce a bill in Parliament to enable classification. He assured Mahasapha that he will continue support the demand for classification and make all-out efforts to speed up the process of setting up seven-member bench by the Supreme Court. Narayana Swami said they are not demanding for any additions or omissions in the reservations, but for classification only. Recalling that the government has taken decision on the Article 370 in no time, he exuded confidence that decision on classification also will be made without much delay. He demanded for classification of SC on the lines of backward classes. Dr. Murugan said all efforts will be made for achieving classification of SC reservations. 
Union Road Transport Minister Nitin Katkari yesterday said that a national inter-religious conference held in Nagpur is a forum for bringing together the views of different religions and sects. He said Indian society is a value-based lifestyle comprising different religions. He was speaking as the chief guest at a one-day national inter-religious conference organized by Lokmat Media Group in Nagpur. Many prominent religious leaders participated in this conference. Theme of the conference was Global Challenges to Communal Harmony and Role of India. Speaking on the occasion, Katkari stated that all religions may have different denominations, but tolerance and inclusiveness are common among them. And as India achieved the milestone of vaccinating 100 crore people against COVID-19, All India Radio salutes all the people, doctors, nurses and others who made this possible. Even though the country has achieved this feat, we caution our listeners that a battle against COVID is not yet over. We appeal to our listeners who are yet to fully get vaccinated to get vaccinated at the earliest and also help others get vaccinated. During the festival season, please follow these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, maintain six feet for social distancing, focus on hand and face hygiene. For any COVID-related information and guidance, contact National Helpline numbers 011-2397-8046 and 1075 and State Helpline number 1800345-0019. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.